Your prize is waiting what? for you in the backyard. Oh, go get it, go get it, Amanda! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is it? Ah! Remy and Tasha! Oh, oh, my god! oh it was a beautiful sight. A pair of gorgeous Vespas. Congratulations! You've just won a brand new pair of Vespa Alex 50 scooters. Oh, These are we've thrown off the accessories. You need to start zipping around Tommy Wood! Ah! Scout South Beach. I'm coming with my new Vespas. Do you know how cute we're gonna look in these? I want this one so bad, Yvette. Toshi, look! Maggie and Janelle will be competing in part two of the HOH competition. Whoever wins this round will go head to head with Yvette in part three. Will it be Maggie or Janelle? Stay with us. After winning part one of the HOH competition, Yvette has secured herself a place in the final round. Maggie and Janelle are ready to compete in part two. For both players, the stakes are high. Losing this round could cost them the game and a half million dollars. Oh, fun. We walked outside and we saw a um, giant platform, a row of numbers, and a loop with a key on it. And you could tell that it was a giant, like, padlock. Welcome to part two of the final HOH competition. Janelle and Maggie, since you lost the endurance competition, the two of you must now face off. In front of each of you is a gigantic padlock. On go, you must pull off the covers from the top of the padlock to reveal eight clues. Once you think you know the answer to a clue, rotate the combination dial to display your answer. When you think you have all eight digits of the combination in the correct order, Run over to the other side of the padlock and pull on the large silver loop. If any of your numbers are incorrect, the lock will not open. The first house guest to put their key on the post will lock in their position for the final HOH game. I'm going to fight very hard because I want to go head to head with Yvette in the final HOH competition. I was not allowed to stay outside for this competition, so I had to stay inside and get panic attacks. You had to run up on the platform and tear off tabs. Underneath eight different tabs was a clue. The answer to the clue was a number anywhere between zero and nine. Once you figured out what the answer to the clue was, you had to run back down and turn the dial until it matched the answer. First one was the number of females in the pressure cooker. I counted us girls. The second one was number of times veto not used. That one I found very difficult. I figured if I had any of them wrong, it would probably be that one. My strategy was I tried to be really fast when doing it. I would do two, and then I would jump off and put the numbers, and then I would do two more and jump off and do those numbers. I had counted the pairs in my head. That one I knew for certain. house guests who had won veto twice in a row and I, I knew that there had only been one player this year that had done that and that was James. The total number of menu items from Snack Shack from Hell threw me off for a little bit. I counted that there were six different things eaten, then I counted the bonus round with Eric and Michael as seven. <laughs> Rachel in the house when she got evicted was my most difficult one. I was kind of like, take a guess and then go on to the next one and come back to that one. The number of house guests had won HOH and veto in the same week, and I knew that was three girls that had done that. It was April, myself, and Rachel. The number of different house guests that won the power of veto was not as difficult at all. Um, I just had to count it out. 
That one came to me pretty easy. I realized that I wasn't getting the combination right. I couldn't figure out which answers and I wasn't getting right. Number of different house guests that had won the power veto. Rachel won, James, Sarah, me, April, Maggie, Vet, seven. The game was tiring intellectually. <laughs> you kept second guessing your answers and having to recalculate and you were competing against someone else. It was a lot harder than it looked. So I knew that she was really stuck, and I knew I was too. I couldn't figure out which one of the questions I was missing. She got me by Barely. one number. It was hard as hell. Congratulations, girl. Oh my god, I misinterpreted the third question. I only got one wrong. It's out of my hands who wins the next um, HOH. I would absolutely prefer the vet to win it because I think that she'll pick me. Oh. Oh my god. God. Congratulations, final three house guests on making it this far in the game. As one of you will be taking home the $500,000 grand prize, we wanted you to see just how much money that actually is. Best of luck to each of you, big brother. Oh my God. It was a clear table with stacks of money. Just to remind us, one of us three is going to win a grand prize. I've never seen that much money in my life. This table is... Really cute. <laughs> I'm doing shook me. Let's try again. All right. Have you been thinking about winning the game at all? That was my ultimate goal. I'd love to win the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you think you can beat Maggie? I don't think I can, to be honest. I'm such a bind. I really am. I really am. You know you could beat me out there. You know I get way too worked up. Well, tomorrow you really don't have to do anything. You have a choice. I mean, it comes to where you have to choose, do you want the money or do you want a friend? That's why I'm not even trying to think about it because... But you need to think about it. I mean, it's coming up. It's a big decision tomorrow. I mean, I know what I'm making. I'm making my decision. I'm going to pick you. I can promise you that. If you're at the end with me, you will have the votes. Janelle, if I won that money, 